Hello, my most amazing art students and parents. This video is quickly going to show you what I've done to streamline the art materials page um, to make your life easier, especially for those of you who are trying to play catch up. All right, so I'm going to use this fictitious account of Donald Zawkins. Um, we teachers use this to help us see what things look like on the student side of Schoology. All right, so logging into your account takes you into the home page. I want you to notice this overdue column, the evil overdue column. I am avoiding this like the plague. Um, I'm gonna tell you why I'm avoiding it and how I'm avoiding it in a few minutes. All right, so once you log in, what you wanna do is click on courses, click on the art course, and that will take you to the materials page. See this little white tab? That tells you that you are on the materials page. Um, a little tip for you. Um, do you see this little Schoology icon that says materials page? You, just a suggestion, here's a little tip. You can click on um, saving this as a bookmark. I typed in materials page really bold so I see it really easy. And then you hit done and save it. Um, in a minute, you'll see why that is advantageous. All right, so here we are, one stop shopping for art assignments. Um, there are two columns here, the upcoming column that shows all your assignments and the syllabus, which shows um, when they um, are published on Schoology and when they're due. So the first column I wanna talk about is upcoming. You'll notice it looks strangely familiar to the evil, overdue column that I am trying to avoid like the plague. Let me give you reason number one why I want to avoid the overdue column. Once um, an assignment hits its due date, it disappears from the upcoming column and goes into the evil overdue column. The reason I don't want that to happen is because I want to keep all the assignments in one place where they're easy to find. So that leads me to the how I avoided letting these guys disappear into the overdue column. I manipulated the dates. See these dates up here? here? Those aren't the due dates. Um, if you'll notice over here in bold, all work must be submitted by May 24th. Well, that is the due date for the very last assignment. So what I did was go down here to the very last assignment and um, set the due date for May 24th and work backwards. The assignment for the week before, I made the 23rd, then the 22nd, the 21st, the 20th, and then finally the 19th. What that does, um, you are all most likely gonna get these assignments finished way before the 19th. Um, a lot of you already have a lot of this done. Um, this keeps all the assignments in the upcoming column so that they're all together and you can find them. All right, so that is the two things I wanted you to know about the upcoming column. So let's go over here to my syllabus. I call it the blue folder breakdown, otherwise known as a syllabus. Again, there are two columns here, and there are two things I want to tell you about each column. This is the blue date, and this is the due date. What I wanna tell you about the blue date is that it matches two things. Do you see the number two popping up a lot? All right, the blue date, they match all of these folders. All of these folders are connected to these assignments. Um, the way I have it set up, you can click on these blue folders if you want, but you don't have to. So let's go back up to the syllabus. So number one, the blue date matches the folders below. The blue date also matches the, fold, the, excuse me, the dates in the parentheses. All right, so the due date. This due date, that is a correct due date. Ignore these gray due dates. This is how I keep them out of assignment purgatory. They no longer go to the overdue, the evil overdue category on the front page, the home page of Schoology. They stay here on the materials page in the upcoming column. All right, so that was the two things I needed you to know about the blue date and the due date. Um, this is really easy and quick. Here's the title of your project. And here's a short and sweet synopsis of what you're gonna be doing. Please don't use the short and sweet synopsis of what you're gonna to do to guide you in making your project. 
um, there's not enough detail there. This is what you need to do. Let's say we're gonna work on the quarantine time capsule project, week one, the favorite activity or memory. So that is the week of April 20th. So let's go over here and find April 20th, favorite quarantine activity or memory. Click on that. That brings us to this awesome page with again, two things a right side and a left side. Let's talk about the left side first. Left side, two things. There's that number again. Simply the instructions and the resources. This, the instructions tell you what you're gonna be doing. Um, the resources are photos that give you ideas if you don't know what to draw. Second thing, rubric. Once you are done with your project, use this checklist to make sure you have completed everything before you submit. All right, so you've read the instructions, you've checked out the resources, you completed your project, you went over the checklist and you're like, everything's ready. You took a photo of your artwork, you downloaded it to the computer. So now you're gonna come over here to this submit assignment button, very important button. You're gonna click on that. That submit assignment button is gonna take you to this upload window and you're gonna go to this cute little box with three little documents in it where the word file pops up over it when you put your cursor on it. Click. It takes you to the files on your computer. All right, so we are doing the week one activity, the memorable activity or favorite activity. There's two ways you can get that file where it needs to be. Number one is double click, 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 boom. You are right in the box you need to be in under that file that you clicked on earlier. So let me show you another way to get the file into that box. You can click on file. It takes you to your computer files. You highlight the one you want to put in the box and click open. All right, so both ways will get the um, file that you want put in the right place. I'm actually gonna take this one off because I was just showing you how to get files in the box. So once you've got the correct file in the box, submit! That puts your assignment into the gradebook and sends me a notification that you submitted it and it's ready for grading. Um, after you submit, you're going to see this assignment submitted. You want to click on this. This takes you to a page that looks almost exactly like my grading page. This is what I see when I go to grade. The difference is on my page, there's a little box right here, and it has a little box where I can put one through five for your grade, and then it has a button that I hit submit. And I can also put comments, like if um, the file didn't download or you forgot to color it. I can put comments on there to let you know what you need to do to get all five points. Once you get to this box, check and make sure your picture is um, submitted correctly, and it is, and it's beautiful and you are done. You have successfully submitted an assignment. Now, remember that little trick I was talking about using the favorite button to save the materials page? This is where that little trick comes in handy. Maybe this is your last project to work on. Maybe you've got more you wanna work on. Instead of having to X out of this and then go back to the materials page, just use this one you saved and boom back on the one-stop shopping page for art assignments. All right, so you just did the favorite activity or um, memory for the quarantine project in week one. So you can just drop right down here and click into week two and start working on that. There's your new submit button again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this makes things easier for you. I hope this was helpful. Have fun making art. Um, enjoy it, use it as art therapy, and I look forward to seeing you at my next Zoom meeting. Bye, guys.